Hey guys, in this video, I'll show you how to upgrade your MacOS Catalina to the latest MacOS Big Sur 11.1 on a Hackintosh PC. So, in this video, I'll show you how to do this step by step. So, let's go. She steady dripping sailor on, she got the perfect face. Thumbing through the deck of 52, and she the highest rank. She don't answer questions, she mysterious like the ace. Hey guys, so I'm your help, Master Knowledge and Technology. If this is your first time here, and if you want to get all the latest tech tutorials, then start now by pressing the subscribe button and turn the bell so you don't miss any of my future videos. Okay, so before I start it, as you can see, if you don't see it right here, that's my PC, so it's, a, it's not a, a real Mac, but it's in a Hackintosh. So in this video, I'll show you guys how to do this step by step. So guys, for me, the first thing I did, I come to this website. Guys, the, all the website I talk about, the apps will be linked in the description. Just click on the link to, to get to all this website and learn. So first thing I did, I did come to this website, is the open core. Guys, before it is the open core vanilla guide, but now it is the Doton open core installer guide. Guys, so the, this company bought the vanilla guide. But thing is, it's legit pretty much same. Now it's just updated. So as you can see, right, the current support version is 0 0.6.4. Guys, the first thing I did on my Hackintosh, I, I use a Windows PC, as you can see right here. I use Windows to get all this working. Guys, I'll put a full tutorial on that. I'll, with the, on the icon guys i'll suggest two videos one is from me and one is from another youtuber so if you want to see that i'll put this on the icon but before you see that first watch this video to understand what i mean so as you can see right here after coming to this website just press on getting started as you can see right here introduction guys follow this website guys this website gonna explain you what to do this guys don't don't listen to what i do like you don't copy it to, to what i do because my pc is a ryzen 3 2200g rx 570 a, a320 is is two motherboard and a, a gigabit I, I don't think it's a gigabit it's like a rx 570 the graphics card as for every pc laptop it's a different because i don't think most of the laptops supported but the laptop that supported is gonna be dif different so that's why i recommend this website Come to this website, follow all the guide. As you can see right here, it's, it's gonna be too much, guys. So that's why what was this video? I'll put this on the icon right here. Was this video to explain you to what you need to do? So as you can see right here, introduction, USB cable. So that, that means you need to create a USB. Because I'll just bring my USB if I can find it. So I need to create a USB to get all this working. So for me, my USB is right here. As you need like 8 gigs or more, but I, I recommend using 16 gigs or more because the Mac OS big size is like a 12 gigs, so that's why you use a USB 3.0. And so I, I, I use a, this, this is by Sandex, and yeah, Sandex makes the best SD card and also the flash depth. So I'm using the 16 gig, this is also would work on the iPhone, but just get a USB 3.0, guys, don't use USB 2.0. Guys, I, I use USB 2.0, it is really bad. It took me like a one more hour extra than using a 3.0. It is that different. It's gonna be really slow as well. So I don't think it's gonna be that slow, but it's gonna be really slow. So that's why I use a USB 3.0. And also don't forget to use SSD. So for me, I'm using a this. So this is a, a external SSD. External, as you can see, this is the USB. But use, a, use SSD. SSD is legit. Oh my God. I guess USB is a, a, a rigid must have, a SSD really must have, and also use a USB 3.0 drive. As you can see right here, come to this website. Once again, the link will be in the description. It will just show you guys what you need to do, like a step by step. Follow this. If you're if you're using a Mac user, use this. So if you if you already have a like a old MacBook, use that to create all the file and then transfer that to transfer to this USB and then plug this to. To your gaming pc no, or, a, or a laptop that you need to do as you can see right here it will just show you what you need to do mac a mac os windows user so if you're using windows it will just show you guys what what you need to do like a step by step all the efi file after that is done go on the next step look at that it will just show you guys how to do this like a step by step and this all are in english and then go on the next section gathering files then as you can see right here, it will give you all the file that you need. All your text folder, or your folder for your USB, internet, audio, graphic, virtual plugin, must have. If you are doing it here using laptop, there is a laptop section too. As you can see all the things you need for laptop. And there's a dedicated one for laptop right there. And I, over here, it will show you guys what I need to 
to the the p list as well the the p list so this is for ryzen as you can see this for intel as well so it, this website shows us everything you need to do also in the bottom as you said troubleshooting guys if you have any problem it's in the same page just go down until you see table until you see the troubleshooting right here it's gonna give you guys all the information that if you have any problem or what problem you, you have just so search it up right here as you can see right here open car boot issues kernel space issue user space issue post installation issue if you click on it it's gonna show you guys like if, if you cannot see this look at this it literally give you guys all this issue and if you just click on one it will give you how to solve it legit that's it legit it's gonna give you guys how to do this and if you have any any problem this website is gonna give you guys your, your problem and your solution so that's why come to this website it just create the usb so that's why i'm not gonna show you guys how to do this because for every computer pc is different so that's why if i should if i tell you guys to follow what i did copy and paste it's your pc will run into problem so after you create a usb Guys, first thing you need to do by creating USB, install macOS Catalina. Get the latest macOS Catalina on your USB. So for me, I just did this. So for me, I just upgrade my supported to the 0 0.64. So my open core, my open core to 0 0.6.4. And then after I did this, after I follow the step, I, I download macOS Catalina. Guys, I'm gonna pu put that video there to, 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 or I should download macOS Catalina. Follow that video and just, just understand what I did and then follow the step I did. Okay, so do, don't don't copy and paste what I did. Just follow the step I did to, to how to create a USB, how to do this, how to do that. Yeah, follow those and then you do that by using your own your own motherboard, your own PC. So go to website, go to this Google and search it up. What what PC you have, what PC party you have, what version you're running. So that's why see all of this. Then upgrade to your macOS Carolina. After you put it put into your macOS Carolina, then open up your App Store or just come to this website or just get the beta. As you can see right here, macOS Big Sur. Open up your App Store. If you're any macOS Carolina, open up your App Store and also sign in with your Apple ID. And then just type it in macOS Big Sur. Just type it in Big Sur. After you type in Big Sur, right here. Macos big set utilities, then press on get. That is legit. And uh, as you can see right here, this is what automatically gonna find your update and press on. Then it's gonna come with the problems, a uh, pop up saying that upgrade now. Just press on upgrade and then boot off your USB and then install like if you're doing any other ma your hack and touch. Install that some way. M maybe f for if you if you're it's like a brand new, it, it will sh give guys the your your beta as well your all the setup you need to do after you do that that is pretty much it after you do this guys also one more thing you you will run into issues this is the latest macros big sir so it, you will get like a saying that finding not any a software there's a account issues then go to the macros recovery and then install the big sir one more time if it if your one is updating with the Apple logo, if it gets stuck, just just restart your computer, just power it down, and then go go to your your USB drive and then restart again. If you restart like a format, I have to do this like a four or five times to get it working. As you can see right here, it is just to download. Just press and download. For me, I already have it, so I'm gonna do that. After you download it, that's pretty much it. So that is how you upgrade your macOS Catalina to the macOS. Big set the latest 11.1 on the on your Hackintosh. Just follow all the steps that I just show you guys. So first, you're gonna just guys. I'm gonna tell you guys all the step one more time. So first, first go to this website, the Dotana Open Core, and then create the USB. Then copy all the file that you need for your computer, no, not my for your computer, and then after that, just install Microsoft Carolina. Then boot up the USB. After you come here, you can just go to the website and get the beta or you can just open up your app store and then get the macOS Big Sur. After you install it, just do the same thing that you did to install macOS Catalina. All the steps, guys, if you do this, your computer will have now have macOS Big Sur. Guys, 
if you don't know macOS Big Sur did brought lots of changes as, as you can see this icon it looks so similar to uh, your iPhone and iPad so that is a bonus thing if you're an iPhone user this is a thing as you can see if you look at the icon it's really good so there's a Safari new like a, a setup menu so you can customize it right there also in the top there's a control panel the control center like the iPhone so that as you can see this, this is pretty good and you get all this cool features so that's why if you're on a hack and touch and if you're scared just do this if you're already a, if you already have a, a hack and touch that is running a macOS Carolina just follow the steps so if you, if you already have it open up your app store or, or then type in macOS Big Sur or just go to the website and get the uh, beta guess I'll put the uh, beta also link in the description you get the beta and, and install it after you install it you should restart using your USB and that is pretty much uh, that is pretty much it that's one more thing if you have any question comment down below if you cannot do any step just comment down below I guess I'm, I'm gonna try my best to help you so see you in the next one peace out